Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome to the new video. I hope all are you doing good and learn something new with day by day. I am Master Prince and welcome to all of you. Now in this class, in this video, in this class, we will discuss something important, something crucial related to the component. A single component like this component, if this component is damaged, not working, not responding in your PCB, right, not gives you output, then your phone does not turn on it's completely in a dead condition while the diagnosis in a dead why the reason it will show you a low booting no booting also the other problems like uh, a logo reboot a logo restart or you can say in a stuck in a boot loop and the network issue baseband issue wi-fi bluetooth all these problems due to other single component so if you are a technician and uh, if you did not know about this component working and what is this component, you have to must learn about this component. What is component? What is this component and how it's working? Because if you want to grow in this field, if you want to grow in a mobile repairing field, if you want to learn a deep level schematic basis, a diagnosis process, a diagnosis repair, then you have to learn each and every component, especially like this component. This is the compulsory, right? Because this is the main crucial important component. In this video, I'll share with you all the details about this component, each and everything related to this. Watch it proper video. Do not skip the video. It means when you watch the video, sometimes you skip the part after again watch the video. If you watch like this, right, this will not help you to understand the concept, right? If you watch properly without skipping, I make sure you will understand the concept about this component. So watch it properly and share this video as much you can. Come in this video because I need your support, right? And if you want to be learn these type of the topics, make sure come in this video right so i make more videos regularly because many of a youtube subscriber says me or messages me so post your regular videos right if you want to learn then share this videos as much as can with the other technicians thank you so much now we start the video now the component called exo or you can also call the crystal oscillator there are other names also like Extel, Crystal, Quas Resonator in a schematics. This component is an electronic component, a crucial important electronic component. These all type of the shapes are different type of the crystals used in a different type of the devices. It's used in all digital electronic devices. For example, which devices has a microcontroller or you can call a digital microcontroller digital microcontroller inside the PCB when you open the PCB near the microcontroller you will see 100% this type of the EXO called crystal now why this crystal is so necessary if this crystal is a bad faulty due to this your PCB directly dead or for example in your mobile mobile is also a digital device your phone in it in a dead condition in a hang logo reboot boot loop these kind of the problems create due to this now these all are digital devices in this image the exo used in all digital devices there are many more digital devices just for example these old digital devices like in a mobile phones it's shape this shape using a mobile phones but on a pc there are different shape and different size so according to the digital device size and the shape difference also the frequency difference like this is a 32 megahertz right in a mobile phone 19 megahertz 26 megahertz 32 megahertz like this type of the frequency used but the other devices work on a different frequency and different shape and the different size according to the device now the exo used in a pc 
टी वी मदरबोर्ड्स द लैपटॉप्स आर्डिनो बॉक्सिस डिजिटल वॉचिज ऑल्सो देर आर लाइक सेटअप बॉक्स राउटर्स एंड द मेनी मोर डिवाइस एज आई टेल यू दिस एक्सो इज बेसिकली हार्ट बीट ऑफ द डिजिटल डिवाइसिस हार्ट बीट ऑफ डिजिटल डिवाइसिस वाई वी कॉल हा हार्ट बीट ऑफ द डिजिटल डिवाइसिस वाई इट्स सो नेसेसरी सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू नाउ एवरी डिजिटल आई सी एवरी डिजिटल डिवाइस फॉर द कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन यूज लॉजिक हाई एंड लो लैंग्वेज आई ऑलरेडी टीच यू दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इन ए प्रीवियस लेसन हाउ द लॉजिक आई सी हाउ द लॉजिक वर्क राइट हाउ द आई सी अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक हाई और लॉजिक लो सो इफ यू डिड नॉट वॉच द वीडियो वॉच इट फर्स्ट आफ्टर यू केम टू दिस वीडियो सो यू कैन बेटर अंडरस्टैंड सो मेन थिंग एवरी डिजिटल डिवाइस द कम्युनिकेशन लैंग्वेज इज लॉजिक हाई एंड द लॉजिक लो लाइक दिस इज इन ए पैटर्न शेप लाइक दिस दिस इज स्केयर वे अ लॉजिक हाई लॉजिक लो सिग्नल सो दिस इज हाई दिस इज लो हाई लो हाई लो now high means one and the on low means zero and the off everyone understand if you watch the previous video you know this right and it will help you to understand this concept also now all digital ic communicate with other ic use this language right logic high logic low like master communicate with the slave use this logic high logic low but when the logic high logic high and when the logic low how does ic know right how does ic knows and when to change from logic high to logic low let's say there is a logic low how the ic knows right now it's turn to logic high now it's a logic high now when the logic low for example this is a logic low now how the ic knows when the convert to logic high right now it's in a high now when it's convert to logic low or how many times how long it takes to the low right after it's convert to the high like when is zero when is one when is zero when is one like uh, the like this is a logic low now when this logic low convert to logic high now this logic high now when it's convert to logic low and how will it takes a long in a logic low like this is a low low right when the time is convert to logic high when the ic from 1 to 0 high to low high equal on switch on and low equal off so when the turn on when the turn off also when you look at the switching time there are two type of the patterns like this one logic low logic high logic low logic high logic low now it's again high now it's again low so 0 1 0 1 0 now in a similar time the switching start like logic high like this now both are in a similar time look at the starting point look at the end point both are similar while switching but in there in the second point there is a speed like 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 like this so there is a fast switching there is a slow switching so when the ic know how to switch fast and when to convert logic high to low and low to high now this timing and speed comes from exo exo send a clock signal to digital ic or you can say the microcontroller through this clock signal the ic get to know 
the ic had a knowledge when it's convert to logic low to logic high and again low and what is the sequence what is the timing difference like in between in a switching time clear let me now exo send the signal send the clock signal in a square shape like this through this the ic get to know when to logic high when to logic low clear so this is why we call the heartbeat of the digital devices heartbeat of digital devices let me explain you why for example human heart now heart generate the pulse like this and through this pulse your blood flow to the your body right if the heart stop your body stop working similarly the exo generate the clock pulse like this now through this pulse i see no the timings to on off because exo control the clock so exo generate the clock so if exo or you can call a crystal i am call exo you can also call a crystal to understand if exo stop working exo bad exo faulty so your device stop working right without exo your device is just a box with no life no life I hope you get my point. Watch the video properly. At the end, the all concept about the crystal is clear in your mind. Now, the crystal made with made with quartz material. That's why it's called quartz resonator. Now, when the voltage goes to the crystal input, you can say when the voltage passes to the crystal. crystal vibrates internally in a fixed frequency fixed frequency and it's generate stable clock or ics now when the voltage passes to the crystal crystal vibrate internally in a fixed frequency after this it's generate the stable clock for the ics right now in every crystal you have mention like this 32 megahertz 19 megahertz 26 megahertz are different numbers now hertz is a unit of the crystal for the measurement right it's call frequency right now 19 megahertz like in a one second it's vibrate 19 millions time if they are 26 megahertz so in a one second it's vibrate 26 millions time so look at the speed so that's why the crystal generate the square wave shape the accurate the accurate reliable clock clear now let's understand why every digital ic need a clock let's say why why every digital ic need a clock for example every digital ic either your pmu cpu rf charging any digital ic made with mosfets okay now the mosfet is work like a switch a little tiny switch in a every ic for example your cpu now cpu made with the millions of the mosfets i already explain in a mosfet video the cpu made with the millions of the mosfet it means in a cpu there are millions of a little tiny switches now this digital ic let me clear this all digital ics not intelligent itself right how to turn on or how to turn off everybody know logic high means one means on low zero off so when to turn on or when to turn off also 
if a ic send a signal let's say a logic high how long its duration in a high how its long time so ic does not know about the timings now this timings gives by the clock signal so ic need a clock signal for the timing now look at this example this is a logic high this is logic low so the 0 1 0 1 and in between this time is this time right in between logic high and the logic low this timing is our duration our timing period for example let me give you example to understand this like uh, this is your master IC your CPU and this is your graphic IC right now CPU wants to communicate with the graphic IC so CPU convert logic high to logic low and send it data to IC but the graphic IC or you can call a display IC does not read its remain in a logic low that means the IC does not ready and this data in this clock there is a data so this data collapse so collapse means data loss due to this data loss your phone or you can say your PCB turn off reboot or stuck in a boot loop these kind of the issues create now I think that will be what is clock about the exo and why the digital IC need a clock signal now the main topic start here about the phones with more explanation right with the more detail after all this explanation about the crystal everything will be clear in your mind because further I'll explain you with the schematic level also I'll show you the diagrams also right so stay tuned this is now I hope you all understand why the digital ICs need clock about the EXO. These all are basic information. But the main part or main topic, how crystal work inside the PCB, how they communicate with PMU, CPU, what are the clocks generated by the PMU? the exo identification in a pcb the working on a deep level the testing also in a 5g phones there is a new ic called clock buffer ic used as a exo manager how this ic work why the companies need this ic why this company ic install all these all information which i mentioned in I'll give you in a part two. The part two is only for the serious learners, right? So if this video reach 10K within a week, I'll upload the second part. I do my job. I'll give you a professional knowledge, right? Now it's your time. Do your job. Watch the video properly. Hit the like button. L give us a lovely comment on uh, if you need a part two below type part 2 exo so i upload a part 2 after the week right this is a pmu pmu you see and this component is a crystal a golden shape 19 megahertz there is a mention is a 19 megahertz right here 4 lakhs now how this exo communicate with the pmu let's say there is a visible two lines there is a track visible clearly connected with the pmu so through schematics Let's understand how this work, right? X31302, this is your crystal. Now look at here. This is a PMU, PMU439. And this is your crystal, crystal directly connected with the PMU, the XTEL, the names, input, output. Now let's understand how it's connected. If you like this video, then do your job. Share the video, hit the like button, give a lovely comment. We will upload a soon a second part if this video reach a 10K within a week. Thank you so much. We will meet you in the next video. Take care of yourself and your family. We will meet you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.